Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this episode was different gravy. Um, oh the ending is mad, but when I get to it, you'll know why. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode 4, review and rating. So let's get it started, we pick up straight up from last episode where Io has found Bucky and Zemo um, and Io explains why Zemo is very hated in Wakanda because he killed T'Chaka um, and she also goes personal with Bucky like he used him for means and then Bucky says to Io that he's a necessary means to an end so she gives him eight hours with him and then she's going to uh, bring him into custody. Um, yeah. Um, the last episode was a bit of a shocker. The start of this one was more. But, yeah. Well, after that, um, If I'm not wrong, Zemo, but Bucky catches up with Sam and Zemo. Uh, don't know why that's there. And he says that Zemo has eight hours to him. Um, um, Which obviously Zemo understands, but they have to go find uh, Donya Madani, who is close to uh, Carly Morgenthau. And the do Zemo puts out a lot of candy where they go and find her, uh, little girl, take some, and he asks her. Um, where the funeral's going to be, she tells him. Uh, Zemo holds the information hostage from Bucky and Sam for the time being, whilst because um, he knows that he'll be taken during the capture of Kyle Morgenthau. And then, after that, uh, Sam calls up Sharon again for another favour and basically wants eyes on Chris Walker and Kyla Morenthal and she accepts because she has a couple of satellites that will help um, so they go to the uh, funeral of M Mama Donya which is what she's known as in the community and um, Sam persuades John to give him 10 minutes to talk with her to discuss this and try and let her down a bit so she is kind of more calm when they take her in but knowing Chris and the new Captain America being cocky um, he actually disobeys this after like 8 minutes he goes in and this was during the turning point of Carly uh, but this actually tips her over to the evil side a lot more because of Chris and also she's lost her trust in Sam um, after this uh, Zemo finds Carly when she was away and he destroys every single super soldier serum vial but then Chris knocks out um, Zemo and finds one more vial in between two water bottles picks it up and puts it in his pocket no one obviously knows this, but there you go. After this, I think Zemo asks Sam if he would take the serum if he had the choice to, and he said no. Um, and then shortly after this, we see uh, Chris asks Lamar the same thing, and he says yes because it only makes a person more themselves um, yeah 
and then the science discuss Chris and Lamar started discussing that like what they experienced during Afghanistan and why they got the three medals of honor um, which just seemed pretty um, pretty tragic if you ask me um, but yeah they start they start discussing how many more lives they could have saved with the serum and that makes sense right to total serum amplify your abilities so you'd be able to save more people in more time of course that's what they thought but they don't know the super soldier serum as well as people like Bucky Steve or Sam um, after this we hear the power broker um, he's gonna come after Carly for well Carly for the uh, super soldier vials but you don't know that she's actually broken well she's actually lost all of them which they have all been destroyed now except from one uh, and my theory in this episode is that I think Chris took it during this scene and that's why Bucky's side going to Sam like he's acting weird and stuff like that and then Chris just bashes the door into her uh, room and is requesting but not requesting she's ordering them to hand over Zemo and then come in Io and a gang um, what's the name now I have no idea but anyways um, basically Sam says that Chris would rather fight Bucky before fighting these lot uh, he, he's right because these are elite soldiers from Wakanda and Chris gets his ass whooped <laughs> um, and they and he says at the end of the fight they were even super soldiers but at the same time he is a super soldier so why would he say that unless he is a super soldier and then we see that Zemo escapes through the pipeline in the bathroom and he's no XPC for the rest of the episode big whoop uh, Carly folds up uh, Sam's sister which I mean makes sense because she wants to get Sam's attention this is the way of doing it probably the biggest way of doing it and she tells her to give Sam a location for their meeting and she does the meet up um, Sharon finds a location on Chris because he's trying to infiltrate the, the facility and they find the location they uh, knock Carly down for long enough that they can go and get Chris um, which they do whilst Chris is knocked down in the facility they take Lamar uh, work with his super soldiers knock him out zip tie his legs up and his arms behind his back uh, they try and find Lamar um, whilst Sam and Chris are fighting Lamar shows back up so it's Carly Carly rams Lamar into a pillar his neck just backwards and he, he Lamar dies we see Chris in the straw then we see Sam and Bucky run out with the uh, Flag Smashers pretty much trying to chase them. Chris barges out of a window, lands on a car, fires one of them, and in public, remember Captain America doesn't kill at all, but in public of all matters, bashes his face in with a shield, picks it up and whams it in his face, he kills him. And then we end the episode with the thumbnail, which is Chris Walker with the blood on his shield <sighs> pretty action packed episode if you ask me um, for being honest uh, this is as good as episode 3 in my opinion and personally I would give this an 8 out of 10 um, you can't say anything else it's a good episode it's been a solid series so far I can't wait to see what happens in the last two episodes and yeah um, if any of you guys want to put anything down below of what your ratings were or what you thought of the episode 
then please do so. I'll comment and I'll see your opinions and I'll try and see if they're, to me, correct or not. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Take care. And uh, peace. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry, anyways, take care and peace.